think we're playing. Yes, it's on. Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. Makeup. Glam. <laughs> Glammy. And the little pink princess dragon. Oh, I love pink. And today is a pink day. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Poor Glammy. He's just going to have to wait. So, today we're going to do um a review. <clears throat> and on our Ipsy Plus. So, let's go get that bag. Ooh, and dive on in. I, like, I need more space. I just, there's no space on this table. It just keeps filling up with stuff and then I have nowhere to put anything down and you know Ooh, okay I got it oh look how pink it's beautiful oh <laughs> okay girl let me get into this and <clears throat> this was actually this will be so much easier when I can see my eyesight is just getting worse and worse every day we're going to go over the products from July and August because back in July, my box like sat for a really long time and I didn't get my July box until like the last day of the month. I think it was the 30th, you know, of July when I finally got it. So <clears throat> I never did my review and there's truthfully not a lot of review to do i do to do, do, do but we're gonna do like a little um try on kind of thing hopefully it won't go over my you know my phone has this thing about 30 minutes on the video and you're done okay um so i've got on concealer because i use concealer to conceal things not to brighten and you know so much uh yeah real concealer so the first thing is actually an add-on i got this bye bye what's it called bye bye full coverage moisturizer 50 spf uva and uvb Broad spectrum. Okay, of course, I'm having a hard time seeing this. Broad spectrum. Something sunscreen. And this is the foundation, not the CC cream. Which, I gotta tell you the truth. I'm not real sure what is the difference between the foundation and the cc cream paid 12 bucks for this i feel like you know i actually feel like i should have gotten two i got this in medium um because i'm my outside gal my skin tone changes a lot therefore i go through wow um that little tiny, that one, is going to do it. Um, I go through about four or five different shades a year. So, I know for some people are like, oh, you know, what's my shade? And I'm like, you know what? It doesn't really matter because as long as it's not like too doggone dark. Or, too doggone light. Sometime during the year, I'm going to be able to use it. Um, you know, and... I used to kind of feel bad because I am sort of an average... Like, even if somebody comes out with just a very few shades, chances are real good that... 
you know, I'm going to be able to use one. And, you know, other people are clamoring because it's not all inclusive. And I, I felt bad, you know, I was like, okay, I'm kind of embarrassed that I don't have the problem finding my shades that other people do but you know why why should I be embarrassed of that that's a good thing that's not a bad thing why should I feel like that's a bad thing I am lucky and you know yay but if that's the only aspect in my life that I am having luck in, then, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Seriously, it's makeup. And I see a lot of people that just mix different shades in order to get the shade that they want. Me, I'm going to put so much stuff over top of this foundation that it's not really going to matter. Um, this is full coverage. Now... <clears throat> I have a lot of blemishes, and this, I don't care what I use. This always shows up. I don't even know what that is. I believe that this is full coverage. Um, I also have discovered that what you use to apply your makeup with can make a huge difference in whether or not it's going to be full coverage. And if you're using a sponge, it's really hard to get full coverage with a sponge because your sponge sucks up so much of the product. Um, a good brush is going to work a lot better. And maybe you want to use a brush and then you think you have brush strokes, which I don't think I have. Of course, I don't see that good. So once I get my vision back... I may feel differently. This is uh, Bare Minerals. I think we got this in a... Actually, I didn't get it in a Boxy Charm, but I bought it on a Boxy Charm site from someone who did. So, it, you know, did that. Anyways, for 12 bucks, I am super pleased with that. Oh. Jesus, put the lid back on. All right. Go in here. Where is my third eye? Okay, which one of these was? That's August. So this must be July. Okay, let's go through July first. This was when we were still having the pullout things, which I got to tell you, <sighs> ecology wise, I like the, the simple card. But not being able to see very good, this, this was wonderful because everything was big. Okay, um, let's see. The theme was Dive In. Um, we got the Naked Cosmetics, the Single Shadows. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to put this in a giveaway, so guess what, yes, giveaway, to, it's giveaway day, isn't it? So yeah, that's going in a giveaway. Um, I haven't actually, <sighs> yeah, I'll throw something else in there too, but definitely those are going in. They're good, but I already have all these shades. I don't tend to use singles. I have a whole lot of them sitting right here in front of me, and I'm not using them. Um, it's a really good brand. Naked Cosmetics is a good brand. I just, I'm, they've been sitting here for what, a month and a half, and I have not even come close to using it. Um, this product... I actually already have one of these, so they caught themselves and said, oh no, we're sending you a duplicate. Well, it's going to be easier for us to just add something in there than it is to change it. So they sent a, uh, time for a little coffee. Everything with a straw. And they sent a 
exfoliating cream type thing um in a little jar which i already have a ton of that too so we actually had a giveaway and saturday we will be announcing some names but that was our that and the exfoliant um that was our skincare giveaway and yeah okay um we got this thrive i'm gonna keep this only because the reviews on it are like fantastic um and so i do eventually want to try it right now i'm using that hank and henry and i love it but you know eventually that's gonna go so uh yeah like i said the reviews on that are awesome okay what else do we have in here okay i think we can get on with the next try on product um we got this huda beauty 3d highlighter palette in pink sands um I think I could have actually gone either way with this, but I do sort of like the lighter one. This, it's, I believe that's her picture on there. Okay, so, uh, I gouged this with a brush. I'm so, like, not happy with myself. You can see where I gouged it. But, um... Okay, the first thing I do, and this doesn't exactly follow directions, but that's the nice thing about makeup. You do what suits you. Um, I'm going to use the blushish, which they're all highlighter because they're all glowy, but yeah, whatever. Okay, um, this is my kind of a blushish brushish. And go in there. Kind of wish this had a mirror. On the other hand, I probably couldn't see it even if it did. Um, I don't like a lot of blush. I don't like blush to be like too dark. So that's one of the reasons why I do my blush first. And I do it up high because I'm old and my cheeks droop. So if I did where you're supposed to, it would just be like, it would make me look older than I even am. And trust me, ladies, I am old. But, you know, I'm old enough to play with the, the kind of things that I kind of want to play with. So I go up high here trying to draw, you know, we're just making an optical illusion. Okay. Um, I kind of like that. It's not... I don't like a real dark one, so I do enjoy the fact that that's not a real dark one. Um, next, I go in with, find my brush, here we go. I go in with my bronzer. So, we're going to use this one right here. <laughs> Maybe I can smoosh that out a little bit, I hope. With my brush, I'm just going to kind of bounce it on that a little bit. I think that's the one that's like more cream too. Um, I just go along. I don't have a lot of forehead, so I'm just going to kind of go along the top of it. I think the more forehead you have, the more you can do this. I'm going to come down the side here just a little bit and then come under where I just put the blush on. Now, if I had my blush on like too dark or, you know, if it was like scary for me, which is funny because, you know, yeah, I do the eyeshadow, but the blush scares me, right? I would just use this to blend with it and, you know, kind of lighten it that way. And we're going to do the jawline a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to go on the edge of my brush. And go under the lip. And then I'm going to kind of just, you know, a lot of places I don't really need more product. I just need to spread it out a little bit more so we're just gonna like you know stifle it i do kind of like a lot back in here 
but stifle, stifle, I don't know, what do you call it, stifle? And for that, especially if you have dry skin, you want a really soft brush because if you if your brush is too um coarse, I'll, and I don't even mean coarse, like even normal, uh you can actually do damage by you know, doing that. So, yeah. Get in there. Okay, and we're going to use our fan brush for our highlighter. And you know, I used these once just to see if they would work. I used them for eyeshadows too, and you can really... Like if you manage to get one of these and you don't like the way it looks on your skin you know face per se because yeah you can you're gonna glow i'm gonna glow all winter long with this baby um they do they make great like toppers for your eyeshadow now see i have a big nose so i put like bronzer on the tip of my nose and underneath because i'm trying to make it not you know and then i just do highlighter up the center and that i'll put that back in later because i'm really trying not to run out of time here that would be that. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, you know, I knew I was going to do that. There's actually a powder in here. Take my brush. I'm going to hit the powder. This is like a, like a finishing powder. And we're just going to, see, I don't bake because I have the dry skin and baking just, you know, it's great if you have oily patches or what have you because, you know, it helps to control that. But, you know, my problem is the opposite. So, but. Putting this on over your other products, putting just a, a finishing, not so much a setting, but a finishing powder, really kind of helps to blend all that stuff together and make it nice. Okay, so we went through that. We did that. Okay, we have one product left. The Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. I've been using this as a setting spray in the morning. Um, you know, it's got some mixed reviews. Some people really like it and some people really don't. Uh, I work outside in the humidity in Florida. I love the scent. It smells almost lime. I don't know, like lime and coconut, like key lime pie. And y'all out in the Midwest have never had key lime pie. Oh, you have no idea what you're missing. You need to get a recipe. Because you ain't going to be able to buy a good one out there. Get you a recipe and buy you some limes. Make you a key lime pie. Because, oh, nothing. Nothing. I didn't even know I liked limes so I had key lime pie. Have mercy. So good. Okay, so that was... When was that? July? That was July. Okay, now for August. Uh, you know, we changed to the single card. And we have Bear Yourself, which basically, to me, kind of doesn't mean like bear, but it means like, let everybody see this is how you are, you know. Don't, don't be afraid to let people know this, you know, this is me. You know, bear yourself. So, yeah, cool. Um, gosh. Okay, the Hey Honey 
Take it off exfoliating honey peel off mask. I do not have that with me. I keep that at work because I stay overnight there once a week on Tuesday night. And I use that the night that I spend the night there. I generally, I mean, I won't even like try most of the peel off masks, especially if it says alcohol in it, like anywhere's up high. But and read the directions and i know right read the directions this is the only plus i really like this hey honey brand this is the only one the only peel off mask that i've ever seen in the directions it says first use your favorite serum and then use your mask over the serum serum a good serum is job is to kind of soak into your skin penetrate the skin but it also carries other things in with it so whatever you put on top of the serum it should like the serum should carry it in like really help it to to penetrate better than it would on its own that's kind of the job of a good serum not only does it have its own nutrients but it carries other things with it so you use your serum and then you use this mask over top of your serum. Not only does it help the nutrients from the Hey Honey peel off mask to absorb into your skin, it also makes it come off a whole lot easier. Really. So I may, if I get another peel off mask that I'm tempted to use, I may try that te technique and see if that works on other masks or if it's just you know this brand made theirs that way but i do think it's worth a shot if you want to use a peel off mask and you're having problems getting it off and you know it being painful or tearing your skin which is what happens with dry skin um try using a serum first and see how that works but yeah that, that was a product that I definitely really like. Um, what else we got? The Balm Cosmetics in the Balm of Your Hand. Greatest hit. By, it's something. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And the Fira brush set in. It was kind of a, a blue. Clear blue set. Um, I actually. I used them in a giveaway. I don't care for that brand, and I really don't care for the neutrals. So, yeah, okay. Uh, the Ferro brushes. I have so many brushes. Like, you know, I was like, you know what? What better to go with a eyeshadow palette than a set of brushes? So, yeah, I, I used those two together um, in a giveaway. Which the winner will be announced on Saturday. Okay, the Smith & Colt Nail Lacquer in Pillow Pie. Again, you would not believe the amounts of nail polish that I own. You know, and this is my color. And that Pillow Talk was like really, really pale. So, I'm sure Smith & Colt, you know that's good. But, again, another giveaway. Um, so yeah, that's three items that I gave away, right? But I really like the peel off mask. And then, um, my last item in here is another skincare product that I don't generally gravitate to. Uh, it's a hydration exfoliating cleanser. Now, AHA and BHA, I have no idea what AHA and BHA actually mean, but you know, it says that this is good for all skin types. I do like Murid. You can use it twice a week. If you can see, I wrote down my days that I use this up here. Um, I use it at night. It is. The exfoliating in here is very gentle. I have no fear of like ripping my skin, which is what happens with the more like the the harder ones. Um, these are like jellies. I don't know how to like the consistency of tapioca. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. But 
I love the brand. I love the color of this tube. And I do use it twice a week. And I've had no problem with it hurting my skin at all. And I do feel like it's doing a nice job if I, you know, using it twice a week that I'm getting some exfoliating out of it. So, you know, yay, good with that. And, wow, that pretty much wraps it up. So, for our giveaway, the Naked Cosmetics, this is for, um loose eyeshadows uh in i don't know what the colors are but here is here's the picture that they give uh, so i think it's like a, a gold a silver maybe a plum and a bronze i don't know something like that but that you know and they are beautiful they are i saw the reviews they're gorgeous i just yeah it, it, they won't they won't get used so i figure it's better to you know give them to one of you guys and i'll think of something else to throw in there too because you know i like to get i don't i don't like to just put one thing in the bag if i'm gonna mail it i'm gonna put something else in there too so in order to be eligible for this giveaway let's talk coffee <clears throat> Put down in your um, comment below, do you drink coffee in the morning or do you drink tea? You know, what is your favorite morning beverage? Do you take creamer? Do you take it black? Do you, you know, uh, give me a little description of what's your favorite morning beverage or do you just, are you one of those rare people that does not need caffeine? <laughs> I have my two mugs. And then I'm good for the day, but mm -mm, I gotta have my tea mugs if I'm going to uh, get motivated to move at all. So, uh, you know, that's your comment. Tell me about your favorite morning beverage. <clears throat> Some people like soda. Um, when I was young, I used to do that. But, uh, you know, I see a comment. Favorite morning beverage? Comment below. Let me know. And you will be entered to win this Naked Cosmetics and something else. I don't know what else. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to put something else in there with it. So, subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 200. It was like 199, 198. And then it's back to 199. I think that I have, like, some people that signed up, but they don't actually watch it anymore. And I think that YouTube, if you're subscribed to a channel that you no longer interact with, I think after a while they just unsubscribe you. So that might be what's happening. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm like, really? How is it this difficult to get to 200, you know? <laughs> Like, uh, 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 hey, you know, the glam goat, he, he's, he's a sensitive little goat here. You know, he's hoping you'll hit that like button and, you know, let us know that you're having a good time here and I hope you are having a good time here and I hope that you come back until the next time. I hope you we. Wake up dancing, wake up dancing, wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.